On this Tuesday, Tuesday, we're talking about the All Trails app versus the Gaia app. If you want to learn where all the great trails are, then this video is for you. Today, we're headed back to Oak Mountain. I know, I have a problem. I love hiking Oak Mountain. It has tons and tons of great trails and you could walk miles, miles, and miles and never walk the same trail twice. I'm going to show you today how I use the Gaia app and the All Trails app to plan my routes while I'm out there and see how far it is on each trail and see how long my route that I'm planning is going to be. And today with me is going to be Vail. She's going with me hiking. This is the first time that she's gone without Aspen. I can't handle both of them at the same time and Aspen COVID's not been nice to her because her little legs she can't walk very far. We did a five mile hike last weekend. It was kind of a just tester. I I took both of them with me in the last bin I had to carry her part of the way. So today I have planned a 12 mile hike for me and Vail. I think she's gonna do good. She's never been away with just me and without Aspen or Bill. So I'm kind of curious if she's gonna be my new hiking buddy. I don't know. I left Aspen at home. I kind of feel bad, but it's for her own good. All right, let's head to Oak Mountain State Park and uh, we're gonna have some fun and I'm gonna talk about these two apps. Does anyone else have a doodle that gets anxiety and anxious when she doesn't know where we're going? Ours does. She was good till I got off the interstate. Now she's like, okay, I don't know where we're going. I don't know this area. And um, I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> starts quivering. Oh. Does your doodle do this? come all the way up here to Peavine Falls, which is at the very end of the road. It's as far as you can come and it takes a little longer to drive up here, but uh, nobody's up here and there's a restroom up here. So you can start up here and finish up here with a bathroom. All right, let me get everything together and we're gonna start hiking. You ready to go hiking? You ready? You ready? <laughs> So today I wanted to talk about the two different apps, my likes, dislikes, and how I use each app. And this is going to be a long trail today because <laughs> this first trail that we're on, things are hitting her in the face and she's not liking this so far. We are starting on our trail and uh, I think the best way if you want a free app is the the all trail app is probably the best free app there is so the all trails app has probably been my favorite i started with that one the great part is it's free and most of the stuff that it offers it's in the free app but the all trails app is a great great resource for for finding trails around you, finding the difficulty of trails, finding out if they're pet friendly or not. You can actually get reviews and everything of the trails. And I really, <laughs> and I use the All Trails app a good bit, especially when I'm in the woods and I'm trying to navigate. It seems to track me a little better than the Gaia does. Yeah, All Trails app. If you're looking for a free app, that is a really great app. 
she does really good on trails she like watches me a lot and she likes she'll get ahead of me most of the time but majority of the time she uh, likes to walk right beside me and if she sees people coming a lot of times she comes and gets close to me because she knows that i'll pull her towards me with mama killing me but she likes this trail way better than the first trail that we started on the first trail was real narrow so she couldn't walk beside me and she did not like that so she stayed behind me it takes me a little longer to hike with her because one i want to make her let her have more rest and stops than normally i would i mean i know she probably can handle it but she loves to drink water so she has her whole almost gallon of water with me that she can have and she likes to play in the creeks and everything so i stop and let her do that it's a little slower pace with her but so far enjoying her company gives me somebody to talk to other than y'all <laughs> i will leave in the description box some great tutorials on both of these that way if you figure out you might want to check one of them out and learn more about it because i'm not a professional at them i'm just giving you my opinion on what i like and don't like about each one that i've learned about them but the gaia app that's my go-to as far as planning trails and everything because you can actually incorporate multiple trails you don't have to to just do that one trail as far as i can tell on all trails like you pick a trail and you tell it to to navigate you on that trail where the gaia app it actually you can customize your trail to you and you can actually see or you can actually see how far it is the trails that you're wanting to take and see if that's something that's doable for you because for me a 10 to 12 mile hike is my comfort zone anything over that is just too far it starts to hurt my knee but that way i know i can i can plan trails out here at oak mountain and i know if i'm gonna be in my comfort zone all right it's so pretty today it's gonna be hot but for alabama the humidity is super low now the all trails app you can offload your trail that you're gonna go on i think that's still the same i haven't done that in a while but i think the free version it does allow you to do that also the all trubs app they just added it's got like hiking biking trails you can also do camping phil sees a squirrel she sees the squirrel oh my goodness oh goodness the squirrel they're both available in apple and android stores and both of them do have a computer version that can link all of it together. All Trails is $29.99 a year if you'd want to do the paid version. And they also just launched a watch app. The Gaia app, it is $39.99 a year. What I liked about it is when you're looking where you're at, even in the free version, it shows every trail around you so that you can kind of see where trails around you go and you can take different trails. Where, when I've been using the All Trails app, and I haven't used the All Trails app in a few months for actually guiding me, so they may have changed it, but typically you can only see the trail that you have picked that you want to do. And it's great that, I mean great. And I use the All Trails app to find trails and stuff around me. The Gaia, you can do the same thing. I think it's just because I've always used the All Trails app and I know how to use it to find trails. So that's my go-to when it comes to finding trails. But as far as navigating the trails, I go over to the Gaia app. The Gaia app is $39.99 a year and you can choose hiking or off-roading. So like if you do off-roading and stuff, you could use that app as well because it shows off-road trails. Let's go through the muddy, muddy, muddy part. Let's see if we can get in the water.
they don't want to stay there, Mama. There's more of them. There's more of them. Come on. And the cool thing is, is Gaia means Earth. It's a Greek goddess for Earth. Thought that was like a cool little extra tip I'm going to give you today. More water? You found more water. I'm glad I keep mosquito repellent in my backpack because whew, mosquitoes are bad today, but I sprayed down and it seems to help some. You're welcome. You too. Good girl. Good girl. There was a guy earlier. He wasn't on his bike. He was just like standing and we were walking up and they'll just stop beside me and wouldn't move because I'm trying to teach her when bikes come just to stop and sit. That way I don't have to worry about her maybe, you know, jumping in front of them with their leash. Okay, here comes another one. We're, we're, she's doing really good. We're at mile five and she is still pulling me. She <laughs> told her she keep pulling on me like this. I will be pulling on her when we get closer to the end. But she's still got a lot of energy left. This one has a nice little bridge that we could go by, but um, somebody's not gonna let me miss uh, going in the water. So we don't get to walk over the bridge, do we? Is it deeper than what you think? She likes to keep moving. She doesn't like stopping. You want to go, don't you? Say, I want to go, Mama. I want to go. All right, well, we got to the end of the red. We are about six miles in. Um, the trail that I was gonna take back, we were on it a little bit here and it was getting really busy with bikers. So I think I'm going to look at my app and figure out a different way back. Um, we were gonna go a different route anyway, but we were gonna be on this route for just a little bit. And with all the traffic, I think I'm gonna look at my app and my Gaia app and see which way we wanna go. That's the cool thing about it is you can look at all the trails around you all at one time and pick where you want to go. There's a ton of trees down from the tornado that came through here. We're at a mile 11 and she is still pulling me. She is enjoying this so much. Well, all right, we are finishing up on our hike. We ended up walking. I have to be careful, I'm gonna trip and kill myself. <laughs> we ended up walking about 14 miles. Dale did great. I think she really enjoyed it. I think the 14 was a little much. It was a little much for me. I had 12 planned and then we took a detour and it added a couple of miles, so anyway, so we've, uh, we've moved on about 14 miles. I hope you like this Two Cent Tuesday, where I talked about the difference between the All Trails and the Gaia app. Like I said, the All Trails app, if you don't want to pay for one, I think is probably one of the best ones, unless they're starting to charge for stuff, because I know that they're adding and changing a lot to the All Trails app. Like I said, they've added a bunch of stuff to it. The, um, the Gaia app, that one is one I've been using because I ended up paying for it. And it's a it's great for route planning when you're doing more than one trail. But the all trails works perfectly fine for just when you pick a trail and you go to it. The all trails app is great because people give their reviews and how hard and difficult it is so that you know if it's a skill level. And it also tells you whether or not dogs are allowed. This was my Two Cent Tuesday where I give my two cents. 
please, please hit that subscribe button if you're not already and hit that bell of notification. Also, hit that thumbs up like button. Till next time, like and subscribe.